She gained national attention as the VP nominee in 2008 and then became an inspiration to the Tea Party. Sarah Palin has made her mark on America's political landscape, but it has not always been easy for her. She's faced criticism along the way, and that's one of the reasons her dad and her brother wrote this new book called Our Sarah, Made in Alaska. Chuck Heath Sr. and Chuck Heath Jr. join us now. Welcome, guys. Good morning. Morning, Allison. Good to be here. You betcha. <laughs> Mr. Heath, tell me why you guys wanted to write this book. Well, we wanted to set a lot of records straight. There's been a lot of um, hanky-panky written about Sarah. Dozens and dozens of books, books have been written about Sarah. And most uh, or have been totally factual. And this book will set the record straight. We've incorporated uh, 46 uh, of her classmates, uh, uh, past years, coach. They tell the real story of Sarah. And Chuck, let's talk about that hanky panky, as your dad just called it. What do you think is most understood about your sister? Well, there's been so much garbage written about her that, that uh, people have start, started to confuse um, the caricatures out there, like the Tina Fey portrayals, with who Sarah really is. You know, she's, she's completely down to earth, the hardest working person that I've ever known. Um, she's always had this incredibly clear sense of right and wrong, and she's had the guts to stand up and say something about it when she sees something out of line. And, um, I have no idea how it got twisted so out of whack, but that's, that's why I was so adamant, you know, when I went to Dad and said, hey, let's, let's do something and, and put the truth out there once and for all. We certainly understand that. I mean, we, that is coming across loud and clear how frustrated you both must have been when there were these erroneous depictions of her. Mr. Heath, how did you feel about that Saturday Night Live skit depicting your daughter? Well, I thought it a job, but I didn't agree with everything uh, she said uh, about seeing Russia from her house. You know, you can see Russia from several places in Alaska, but Sarah never said that. It was, that was all Tina Fey. And, of course, that was the lighthearted part, Chuck. I mean, that was a humorous depiction. But there were other depictions that were not in that same humor vein. Um, what fr most frustrated you? Well, you know, it's, it's, of course, she's my little sister, so I want to stand up and protect her, um, you know, although she's probably tougher than I am. But, um, but there were so many um, instances where they tried to make her into this, that she, you know, she hates gays, she hates this and that. It's so far from who she really is. Anybody that ever sits down in a room with her one-on-one, -on -one, you know, you spend two minutes with her and you'd see how down to earth she is. Um, and it... They, like I said, they made her into this caricature that, uh, that is just completely not her. Hmm. So, Mr. Heath, yeah, share look, with look us. What, uh, Go ahead. Look what David Letterman did. Look what David Letterman uh, did or, and uh, Bill Maher, things like that. Those things really get under my skin. It's not the uh, character assassination on, on Sarah that gets to me. It's when they attack the kids when uh, our local newspapers said uh, uh, that Sarah, uh, they questioned whether Tri was Sarah's uh, child, things like that. That's what gets me when they attack the, the grandkids. Of course, of course. We can only imagine what it was like for you to live through some of those uh, character assassinations on your grandchildren. So, so let's talk about the positive stuff. Chuck, why don't you share with us your favorite story in the book? <laughs> We, we've got a lot of favorite stories, but, um, a lot of adventure stories, life and death stories, avalanches, bears, um, gold mine hunting stories, the, just tons of our favorite kind of things. So it hasn't been all bad. Um, and I hope that these stories show, you know, Sarah lived through a lot of these stories, and all of this st stuff helped uh, form her character and make her as strong as she is today. Um, and putting all that together, I think we've come up with something that'll, that'll give everybody a real um, accurate and new uh, view of where Sarah comes from. Mr. We dwell on her work, on her work ethics a lot. Um, for example, when we commercial fish together, Sarah and myself, we went one time three days and two nights without any sleep, no sleep at all. 
Uh, she fished uh, a day and a half with uh, three broken fingers. Her work ethics today, she puts in 18 to 20 hours a day. She started this when she was a kid, especially in athletics. She worked and worked and worked. I know no one has better work ethics than Sarah. Man, you guys are tough up in Alaska. We know how hard commercial fishing is and going three days without sleep. I know that's par for the course for you guys, but that, that is really tough stuff. As you were speaking, both of you, we were looking at pictures from when you, Chuck, and Sarah were little. What was childhood like, Chuck? Uh, it was pretty, uh, pretty unique, a lot different than any of the friends that I ended up making down in the States. Um, you know, we used to sit around after school, and once in a while, we didn't get to watch TV very much, but when we did, I remember the old Brady Bunch uh, reruns would be on, and, and Sarah, Heather, Molly, and I would sit there, you know, with our hands on our chins, and just in awe of these people, thinking, wow, did people really live like that? You know, we were out literally hunting, fishing in the woods, trying to put food on the table, and, and this is as young as I can remember, you know, and Sarah was right there with the rest of us. It was just a, you know, chop wood to stay warm, hunt food to, to eat. That's, that was our lifestyle. Well, you guys were sure cute. You look kind of like the, the wilderness Brady Bunch there. When I, we look at your, <laughs> your little kid pictures. But uh, it's great to have you share all of your personal stories and, and let us in on what this whole experience has been like for you both as you've watched her ascent. Uh, Chuck Heath Sr., Chuck Heath Jr., the book again is Our Sarah Made in Alaska. Thanks so much for your time this morning.